Okay, so now we go to problem number two for the physics boot camp test one review. We have problem two, calculate the acceleration of a car that goes from rest to 60 miles an hour in five seconds. So it's starting from a zero and then speeding up to 60 miles per hour in five seconds. Give the answer in meters per second squared. Also, how far does the car travel in this time? So it's a pretty good introductory physics question here. So the acceleration is change of velocity, V final minus V initial over time. V final is 60 miles per hour. V initial is zero. The time is what? Five seconds. The answer is gonna be what? Well, 60 over five is 12 miles per hour seconds. This is a legitimate unit of acceleration. As long as you have a unit of distance divided by two units of time, the product of two units of time. But we want to now express it in meter per second squared. So we say one mile is 1.6 kilometer. That's the conversion between a mile and a kilometer. One kilometer is a thousand meter. And then we can say uh, one hour is 3,600 seconds, okay? One hour is 3,600 seconds. So what does that do? That means the mile cancel the mile, the hour cancel the hour, uh, kilometer cancel kilometer. The final unit is what? Meter per second per second, right? If we simplify this, we get 12 times what? Well, 1.6 times 1,000 is 1,600 divided by 3,600. And then the units ends up what? Meter per second per second is meter per second squared. OK? OK, well, what's the ratio of 1,600 to 3,600? Uh, the zeros cancel. 4 goes into 16 4 times. 4 goes into 36 9 times. So we can just multiply it by 4 ninths. So 12 multiplied by 4 ninths, and that's going to be what? 48 divided by 9. So it's going to be 5, um, yeah, 5 and uh, 3 ninths, which is 5.33. Okay? So the acceleration is going to be 5.33 meters per second squared. So now you know, in general, when you want to go from mile per hour, okay, just this portion here, see mile per hour, you can simply just multiply it by 1600 over 3600, which is 4 ninths ratio. So if you want to go from mile per hour to meter per second, you multiply it by a ratio of 4 over 9. And then it changes your mile per hour to a meter per second. And then since you have an extra second here, it makes it a second squared. So the acceleration is 5.33 seconds squared. So what's the distance? Uh, by the way, this is about half of the acceleration of gravity, a little bit more. Gra acceleration of gravity is uh, 9.8 meter per second squared. So this is uh, about 50% or a little bit more, 60% of the acceleration of gravity. So a car that can go from zero to 60 in five seconds is accelerating very, very fast, okay? Uh, no car, very, very rare that a car is going to actually accelerate at 9.8, okay? But uh, this is still a very strong acceleration. So how do we find the distance? Okay, to find the distance, we're going to use the equation from kinematics. Okay? We say that an object that undergoing uh, constant acceleration has... Uh, the velocity changes linearly as a function of time, right? In calculus, we uh, use the language of integral. We say we take the integral of this, and that gives us how the, the position of the function changes as a function of time. So we have v initial integral of v initial t. Integral of this is half a t squared, okay? So uh, now we want to know what's the distance that the object covers. So assume the initial distance, the initial position is zero. We also are given that the 
object starts at rest, so the initial velocity is zero. So in order to find the distance that an object travels at a constant acceleration, you have to go half a t squared. So x final, half of 5.33, time is equal to what? Well, the time we already knew is 5 seconds. So you do that, half 5.33, 5 squared. And the answer we get is 66.625 meters. So during that time, the person will have covered 66.625 meters distance, okay? The graphical interpretation of this, because you might be thinking, what's going on here? Why is it a square? Uh, introductory physics students might think, well, to find the distance, you just multiply the velocity times the time. Why do we do this half at squared? Well, the concept comes from the graphical nature of the uh, uh, velocity. Velocity as a function of time increases linearly. Assume the initial velocity is zero. So it increases linearly as a function of time. And then the position as a function of time increases as a square function, right? proportional to t squared. And then, what would the acceleration as a function of time be? Acceleration as a function of time. Well, in the language of calculus, we say acceleration is the derivative of velocity, so the acceleration is a, a constant. So an, a, a car that is accelerating at a constant rate has a constant acceleration, velocity increases linearly, position increases as square, and that's where this comes from. So that's how you solve it. Thank you.